Closer to Home has become one of the most controversial items in Annapolis this year. And today, Governor O'Malley signed the Fairness for All Marylanders Act into law. ABC 2 News' John Harrison explains why it's met with such tough opposition. One of the more controversial bills this past session dealt with transgender rights. Governor O'Malley signed that bill into law today during his last bill signing as governor. The new law makes it illegal to discriminate against transgender people involving employment, housing, or public accommodations like public bathroom use. Uh, we are closer today uh, to creating that open, respectful, inclusive world uh, that we want for all of our children. Opponents worry this opens doors for male predators to go into women's bathrooms. It's a complete false construct that's been put out there um, that the other side has used and has failed on, fortunately, in place after place around the country. Some measures that were signed today were not bills. O'Malley initiated a task force to study the effects of athletic injuries for women in sports. Speaker Mike Bush has interest in this task force because both his daughters have injuries in their high school and college athletic careers. When I tore my ACL, it was from non-contact, so I was just running forward and then I pivoted and my knee went one way and my body went the other. I think this is a huge leap, I think, for um, all like high school athletics. Um, I know my senior year of high school, we did uh, ACL preventions and they only had it for four schools. O'Malley left the wind farm bill in Somerset County undecided. He has until May 27th to make up his mind. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.